Hello, it's Lee here. Welcome to another day of Defend Marimba. So it's the 19th of December. So that means there is only six days to Christmas. The prompt for today is nature's treasure. I have a few things that I want to play around with and I'm thinking that I'll use this flower or this card or oh, it's actually a postcard Di sent me. So we've got a lovely rose on there so one of nature's treasures uh, she also sent me this piece of paper which i really love this feels like mixed media paper or something okay, it's got something stuck on it but i thought i'd make use of that i've got a bit more of her handmade paper from eco prints i'm not sure whether i'll use these or not so here's another one that I didn't actually cut out. I might use a couple of them. But something I really like to use is uh, these, what do you call them? The negative space from when you die cut something. I love the way it looks. And I would really like this one because both the plants are up the, up the same way. And it looks awesome against that black paper. What I want to do is just tear up tear this up and collage it onto the page so I want to use this uh, bit of leftover and some black soot just to uh, do a little bit of stenciling on here gotta be careful not to rub too hard because it'll break the paper that's a little bit underwhelming to say the least. Let me just give it a light mist. Don't want the page to get too wet. I, I just remembered this bit that was in amongst the things that Dice sent me and I reckon that looks really nice. So I'm thinking that and or should that go on the inside? No, I think that needs to go on the inside and this one on the outside. I can still do the envelope because then this can sit in there. So I'll cover the envelope in something. <laughs> something I want to make it a bit stronger because it's only a, uh, like a, a thin envelope and it's been tea dyed. I've stitched around that, um, like stitched the envelope to that piece of cardboardy stuff, this stuff, and then I also included um, a bit of that watercolour stenciling paper there. And what I did was tear off the um, the overhang on that watercolour paper so that you can see the other underneath it. And I've inked around it with walnut stain and put a thumb notch in there so that's gonna go there so I'm gonna paste that on now back to the card I've got all these leaves that I cut out too so work out what to do with them but I'm going to leave that on there I like I love those edges so I want to just snip these corners off so that's going to go on there on something underneath it maybe or maybe a couple of these I don't want to cover up too much of of this thing there so if I put like that and a little piece of that and then if I trim this down and then I can put some of these leaves around All right, I'm just going to go for this now. I've got, um, I'm going to put this piece of handmade paper on here. No procrastinating. So I'm going to put that over to the side. 
I've got a piece of tulle I'm going to put under everything else. So just going to pop that in there. So it's protruding a little bit. So this thing is going on there. have inked around these leaves I think I'll use this Aileen's glue because it's going through got to go through the chill oh put the glue on the wrong side of the of the plant of the leaf They're fine to poke over the edge. It's all good. This is one of the watercolour leaves that I found in my stash. That one can go there and I'll trim off the excess on the side here. So this is going to go on there and I might put a, just a little piece of tulle underneath there like that. I do have this other tulle which is, yeah I might use a bit of this, it's stiffer but it's been um, tea dyed. So if I just take a piece like that. Uh -huh. I think that looks good. So I'm going to apply my paste all over this thing. And I do believe it should go through the tulle. Let's put a little bit more on this side. Got all these things that I want to pop on there. Oh, I hate gluing these things down. <laughs> I think I'll put some staples in it, just a couple of dabs of glue. I feel like it needs something else there. Here's a butterfly. I can't like that. Under there. You're going to put that in there. I think that would look good on top of that cluster. They look like birds. I can't stop seeing birds when I see those flowers. So this was originally cut out of a, um, a gel print what the colour is on this side. Right. I want to put some splatters on there but I don't want to use, strangely enough, I don't want to use my gold watercolour pa paints. I want to use ink. I 
like it on top of those die cuts there. I do feel like I, I want to put um, gold on there and the gold's just sitting right here so it takes the decision out of my hands <laughs> spun sugar and Victorian velvet Try a bit of the spun sugar. Why not? I'm just going to drop it directly onto it. Oops, it's gone in with the other one. I've rubbed off the um, pencil, the address and the name and everything that was on there. So I'm just going to hinge this on there with a piece of this paper tape. So here we go, it's all finished now and I've put the card into the pocket and put that other little card with the, the brown and the black together behind it. So I did add some uh, transparent stickers there on the left hand side and there's probably a few splatters on the card that might not have been there before but yeah, I've added a couple of things. So I hope you like that. I hope it's given you some ideas and inspiration and uh, that will help you to make your own page for this challenge. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Love it when you leave a comment. And in the meantime, happy crafting. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. So hugs and cheers from Australia. Hooroo!